Smoke plumes were seen rising in southern Lebanon on Thursday as Israel continues its war with Hezbollah. France's foreign minister said an international conference for Lebanon raised $1 billion in pledges for humanitarian aid and military support to help the country where war between Hezbollah militants and Israel has displaced a million people, killed over 2,500, and deepened an economic crisis. Israel in the past month has launched a major aerial bombardment and ground invasion of Lebanon as it says it's targeting Hezbollah, with strikes hitting the capital, Beirut, and elsewhere. The International Organization for Migration has said about 800,000 people are displaced, with many now in overcrowded shelters, while others have fled across the border into Syria. Mikati on Thursday estimated the number of displaced people is over 1.4 million, including 500,000 children. The cash-strapped Lebanese government is ill-prepared to deal with the crisis or the increased demands on its health system. Several have been evacuated because of nearby airstrikes and fears that they might be targeted. Huge plumes of smoke billowed over the sky of Tyre City after a series of Israeli airstrikes in southern Lebanon. Israel called on various neighborhoods in Tyre to evacuate as it will conduct airstrikes on suspected targets. The military said it aims to push Hezbollah out of southern Lebanon so that tens of thousands of Israelis can return to their homes after more than a year of cross-border rocket and drone attacks. Over a million fled their homes after Israeli airstrikes pounded large areas of Lebanon for weeks.
Turkey's interior minister says an attack on the premises of the Turkish aerospace and defense company Tuzas has left a number of people dead or injured. Ali Yerlikaya did not provide further details on the attack Wednesday on Turkish Aerospace Industries Inc. The company is located in the outskirts of the capital, Ankara. Earlier, media reports said an explosion followed by gunfire was heard at the complex. Haberturk Television said the explosion may have been caused by a suicide bomber. Security forces, ambulances, and firefighters were dispatched to the site.